Hello friends, in this video we will be looking into two terminologies uh, commonly used for photography, SLR and DSLR. Now these are two very common terms that you might have heard before and it's important to understand what these terms mean and what is the difference between the two. So SLR stands for single lens reflex and DSLR stands for digital single lens reflex. And the basic difference between the two is how you capture the picture. Uh, the functionality of both the cameras is very similar where you have your camera body, you have your lens. Uh, the light enters the, the camera through the lens, it, it, it gets captured and then in eventually the image is captured either on a film or on a memory card through a sensor. SLR cameras typically use film and what happens is once you have taken the image and once the light has entered the camera, uh, your image is getting captured on a film which is a permanent film. Um, when you go to a digital format, what is happening is you have captured your picture, uh, the light enters the lens again similar to what you see in an SLR camera, when, but when you go to a digital camera, then what is happening is the sensor is, is sensing the light, it is capturing the light and storing that in a memory card. So that is the basic difference and what you see in these days is more of the digital cameras, so DSLRs are definitely much more common now. Um, and SLRs are the old technique of using film. Um, there are a few advantages and disadvantages of both the ways, but most of the cameras that you see in these days are digital cameras. So when you compare SLR versus DSLR, there are a few advantages and disadvantages I would say. Um, SLR cameras definitely uh, used films and films were limited typically it was 36 pictures that you can capture in a film and and then once you are done with the film then then you have to replace that with a new film uh, with digital cameras now there is no limit I mean basically you can take number of pictures since everything is getting stored on a memory card it's easier and and you can choose the size of the memory card speed of the memory card according to your uh, according to your application uh, so that definitely is a big advantage. When it comes to price, surprisingly SLRs are more expensive at this point because it is not very common to find SLR cameras. I still know some people that use SLR cameras which is great but as I said before DSLRs are much more common in these days. Another advantage of having a DSLR camera is you can take a video with it too. At the same time, uh, normally SLR cameras don't allow you to take videos obviously because there are films. One of the advantage of SLR camera is that everything is getting captured on a film and once you have it on a film uh, it's easier for you to manipulate or change the size of the image that you want later. Versus on a digital camera uh, your size of the image your quality of the image is fixed most of the times um, so once you have captured that image and by mistake if you have captured it at a low quality uh, then it's hard to get a high quality image out of it. Another advantage of a digital camera is that you can preview your picture right on the screen most of the cases. Uh, so you have your back screen and you can see your image as you take it uh, in terms of quality, exposure and everything. Versus with a film camera or with a SLR camera, you cannot look at the image until you have taken it out and, and, and developed it. So make sure you like the video and hopefully you have learned something from it. There are other videos on the channel, so check it out. Thank you so much.